Welcome back to Innovation. Today we are going to start our sound system project. So first thing we need to do is sign in. So we're going to click on sign in, type in our username and our password. Hopefully it's still there for us. Remember, if you forgot your username and password, you could always click need help. And then type in the email address you registered with and it will send you your password. But I remember, so I'm going to sign in. So now I'm signed in and I'm going to click on create and start a new project. So what we're going to create today is a sound system. So we don't need our cat. So the first thing I'm going to do is click on the little trash can and delete our cat. Then I'm going to create our first musical instrument. Our first musical instrument is going to be a keyboard. Now we need to make sure we use the instruments that are provided because it adds in some extra things when we select this sprite. It gives us some sounds. So it gives us all the sounds that we need for our keyboard. And what we're going to do is make our keyboard work so that when we press a sound, it plays a key. But we also want our keyboard to only play when we press the K key. So I am going to start with my keyboard and go to events and go to when a key is pressed. So let me find that event. And right now it says when space is pressed. So we're going to match up the letters that we press with the notes. Then I'm going to put in a conditional, which is under control there. And I'm going to do a sensing. So I'm going to sense if the letter K is pressed. So this will only pray, play when both the letter C and the letter K are pressed. So now we're going to add in some sounds. So the first sound we're going to enter is the sound for electric piano. And we don't want to do the until done. Um, we could try both. But I think the one we want is start sound. So that way it'll start the sound. And if some other sound plays, it'll take over it. So we could try both. But if we do play until done, it kind of freezes up our program and we can't do much else. And actually, let's try that. Let's see the effect that we get by doing both. So I am going to hit green flag. And I'm going to press the K. And then I'm going to press the C and we hear our sound. And every time I press the C, it starts to replay, which is good. If I switch it out to play until done, and then do it, press K, and then C, you see I'm pressing the C over and over and over again really fast, but it's only playing the sound one time. And then it waits until it's done before it starts to play again. So we don't want this block. We want this block. So that's the letter C. So now what we're going to do is proceed and do all of the different sounds. So let's look at our sounds. We have the letter C. Now we have to do the letter D. So to make our lives easier, we're going to right click, which on a trackpad is two fingers touched, and click on duplicate. And now we just have to change the letter. So let's do the note D. Let's find a D. There we go. And change the sound to a D. So now we're going to duplicate this. Move down. So find the next sound. The next sound is an E. So we're going to switch both of those to the letter E. Duplicate this. And move down. And we're going to continue this pattern. There's F and F. Whoops, that's E. F, duplicate, G, and G, duplicate, A, and A, duplicate, 
B and B, duplicate. Now you'll notice we have another C, a C2. So this C is at a higher octave than this C. So we can make a choice here. Do we wanna just do C, D, E, F, G, A, B, which is all the basic notes, and leave C2 out? I think that's what we wanna do. So I think I chose the wrong C when I first started. I chose C2, I wanna just choose C. So now we have all of our notes of piano. If you wanna add in C2, you can, but you have to choose a different letter that you're gonna remember. So maybe we could try a capital C, but let's see if that works. Let me try that. Duplicate. Hmm, I don't think I can do capitals. So nope, that's not gonna work. We'd have to choose a whole different letter. So let's see if we can get our piano to work now. And press K for keyboard, and I should be able to do any note. C is the lowest. D, F, G, A, B. And then we'd be back to C. We're gonna talk about later how to change the octave so we can go and do all of the keyboard. But right now we just have one run of the keyboard. Now the other thing we wanna do is make our keyboard clear, our instructions clear to our user so they know which keys do which. So I'm going to go into costumes and look at my piano there. And I want to type in a letter. So I'm gonna click on the T and I'm gonna draw in the letter K. Let's do black. I think black will look better. There we go, the letter K. Nice. So you notice how it's a little big, so we wanna shrink it. So I'm gonna click on it and then get to the corner and click and drag to make it smaller. And then move it to the center. There we go. The other thing I wanna do, it looks a little small on the stage, so I'm gonna change its size, and we're gonna do that in code. Events, when green flag clicked, we wanna set the size to, let's say, 150%, and let's see how that looks. That's pretty good, I mean, maybe 200%. We'll have to see later to see how our layout looks for all of our notes. So now we have our keyboard. So let's see how this works. K. And if I'm not pressing K, it doesn't work. So I have to be pressing K at the C same time. So now I have a keyboard I can use. The next thing we might wanna do is make the keyboard look a little cooler when, it anim when we hit a key. So you can see it has two different costumes. First thing we wanna do is add the K to the second costume. So I'm gonna click on the second costume, type the letter K, shrink it like we did before, so it fits onto our little screen here. And now we can see it fits pretty good. And now we're going to go into our code and make it so whenever we press any key, we're going to switch the backdrop. See it right there? Any key. So if I press any key, I want to go through a little loop. I'm just going to repeat it twice because there's two costumes. We could repeat it four times. Sometimes that helps with the animation. We don't repeat it too much because then it'll look a little silly. So we're just gonna repeat it four times, go into looks and say, next costume. We might need to slow this down a little bit, but let's see. And you can see every time we press it, we get a little animation. So let's see. That looks good. So it gives an indication to the user that the keyboard is playing every time we press a key. 
So that looks great. I think that's all we're going to do today. Bye for now.